Hey guys, welcome back to John's Watch. Today I'm taking a look at a game called Defragmented. Now this is a game that is not going to be released on Steam until February 12th, 2016. So I'm taking a look at this just a bit before it comes out. It's developed by Glass Knuckle Games and its regular price is $14.99 US. If you want to know more about the game, you can head to glassknuckle.com, you can see down there. Uh, but Defragmented is a top-down cyberpunk shooter game. Uh, I've heard it's a little bit like Hotline Miami. I haven't I haven't played it yet at all. I'm looking forward to checking it out. If we press any key to start, you can see the, the quite weird settings. You have things like increased video quality. There we go. Let's go up to Ultra there. Hopefully that'll be fine. <laughs> Uh, you've got some pretty interesting stuff here. Increased resolution, that's fine. I mean, it, it's a very... It's a very, like, meta set, settings page, I suppose. Yeah, it's... It, it's like a settings page that is part of the game. But it's a little bit confusing if you're not actually playing the game yet. Okay, anyway. Let's just hop into an empty slot. Whoa. Oof. Alright, so... There's three classes, apparently. Three character classes. Like in Torontropolis Citizen, please use our automated system to establish your new identity. Okay. Please select a gender to the left. I'll be a lovely man. Oh, look at his suspenders. Pretty sweet. Please select a skin tone to the left. I'll just go for pale, as pale as I am. <laughs> IRL. Okay, select a class. The current is Cyberzerker. Starts with a shotgun. They're tough, genetically enhanced warriors. They can keep a, take a beating and keep on fighting. That sounds like the one I'm going to be going for. This is the Railgunner, who starts with an SMG. Railgunners are quick and nimble. Time spent stealing valuables makes them excel at misdirection and speed. And you've also got the Ascended, who starts with an energy weapon. The Ascended are those of a higher mind. Through study, they have gained extraordinary skills and abilities. Oh, do I want... I think... You know what, I'm just going to try the Cyber Zerker with the shotgun. Normally I like to have like an assault rifle kind of thing, uh, so an SMG would be good, but I don't know, I'm kind of feeling the shotgun. One shot kill, you know? That's what I like. They can take a beating and keep on fighting. Because I'm not very good at games, I like to be able to not die. You've chosen the path of the Cyber Zerker. This concludes identity creation. Enjoy your stay in Entropolis. Fantastic. Orange items are legendary. LEGENDARY! Welcome to the city of Entropolis and the saddest ramen shop you've ever seen. Look, it moves. Listen to this soundtrack, by the way. Isn't it amazing? I think... Yeah, it's uh, it's pulse-pounding beats from a diverse group of electronic musicians. It includes artists from works like Kung Fury, Far Cry 3, Blood Dragon, Hotline Miami 2, and original defragmented music. God, I hope there's no copyright strikes in here anywhere. <laughs> it's really cool music, though. You arrived only just this morning. I'm prepared for the world within its towering walls. Can I... No, I was hoping to speed up the text a bit, but that's okay. The streets are oil and water. Oil and new worlds coexist in uneasy harmony. Men in dark suits sign contracts with their cybernetic eye implants. Women under taut umbrellas are escorted by private security forces. From the very air comes an overwhelming sense of decay. It's enough to make you... Hey! You're gonna eat that soup or fix your hair in it. The restaurant owner chastises you, golden teeth glittering as he barks in your direction. For first meal in the city, it's about as good as expected. From the only empty restaurant during lunch hours. It isn't long, however, before new customers arrive to interrupt your meal. You feel stares from a crowd of people standing behind you. Hey, welcome to the city of Entropolis. We just love tourists, don't we boys? Looking down, you see a scowling brute reflected in your soup. You hold your breath and turn in your seat, preparing for a fight. You're surrounded. Five imposing men look down at you. Each one is a matching uniform and a metal plate bolted to his skull. The leader stares you down as his enormous forehead gleams. What's a more like like you doing in our favorite eating establishment? This is Pills Turf. And in case you weren't aware of the bitter pills, also known as us. The gang members pat an embroidered pill on the front of their matching jackets. Well. We just so happen to be the group in charge of this entire neighborhood. When you try and take on the pills, you're gonna choke. The entire gang barks in unison. Ura, ura, ura. This must be their usual extortion scheme. Just your luck. 
You look for an escape route. These bitter pills have you surrounded. However, as the lead pill lumbers towards you, he's knocked clear of his feet and flies down the alleyway. Oof. The remaining thugs turn towards the street to face their surprise attacker. A figure walks towards the restaurant with measured steps, firing rippling waves of energy at the street gang. Some sort of non-lethal stun weapon? You watch your would-be assailants fly across the pavement and hear a voice behind you. Good afternoon. You must be new in town. This woman's voice is calm. Calm, time collected. She might have done more than just to some thugs like the pills. I can see you aren't armed. If you promise not to run, I'll lower my weapon. You raise your hands and surrender. The weapon's humming subsides. The name's Maya Vermoth. You look like you could use a tour guide. She looks you up and down and laughs, amused by your appearance. By your clothes and choice of lunchman, you look like you use, use more than that. I'm the curator of the illustrious Antropolis Cybernetics Museum. I've got staff lodging and some personal projects that need completing. These bitter pills aren't the only problem we have around here. You ever follow orders before? You nod. She laughs. Looks like it. Come on, let's get you something real to eat and a place to sleep. I'll make you a real citizen of Antropolis. There's something about this woman. Maybe the two of you are supposed to meet like this. That evening, she gives you your first assignment. Take out some pills in one of her organization's secret service tunnels. Better do it quick and govern her good side. Hopefully we get into the actual gameplay now. <laughs> yes, we do. Okay, use WASD to move, use mouse to aim. This isn't some training exercise. Time to get moving. You can't look around very well, and no. Just take it nice and careful here. Haven't seen anyone yet. Use ZX to rotate the camera. Hold space to look at a point. Use C to swap camera angles. Use space to look at a point. Oh, I see. And C. Oh my god, that's very cool. And then you can go back to the top down. I thought that was rotate. Ah, okay, so there's a guy in there. Use left click to shoot your weapon. Use right click to throw detonate mesh bombs. Use Q to melee. Okay, so how was I... Whatever. How do I change the angle? Fuck. <laughs> shoot first. They won't hesitate to do the same. Okay, great. Oh, look at that. Look at that destructible environment. So I, can, I can, like, push these off the edge or something. That's very cool. Does that, like, change it at all? Nope. Well, I'm sideways now. He's hold left shit to sprint. Left shit. It's gonna surprise this motherfucker. Holy shit. <laughs> I didn't think he was gonna get me. Wow, I have 7 HP. Oh, my time taken wasn't great. That's okay, though. I think I did pretty well. Have a complete. Boom. Use I to open the inventory. Items can be quickly compared by selecting one and highlighting the other. Okay. I haven't picked anything up yet, but I can get something from here. Four creds. Oh. I'll loot that, so... Okay, so I've got a second hand enforcer, which is much better. Okay, fine. Do, do. Hey, does it show me the controls? Options. Why does it not tell me how to... Oh, here we go. Oh, it's Z and X. There we go, that's better. <laughs> How'd you find yourself here, in Antropolis? Just like anyone else thrown about by the powers of fate, you figure. The future ain't what it used to be. Not since the haze crept across the sky. A century ago, a scientific experiment went awry and blotted out the sun. Everyone suffered through the drying of the earth and the great hungers. Eventually, great minds from the city found a way to harness that thick smoke into reusable energy. The world's energy problem was solved in an instant, but mankind could no longer leave the planet. There is a ceiling above the house of man, limiting his exodus into the once starry sky. 
Humanity managed to scrape by and find some small salvation. Along came the farming domes, gardens where natural life could exist again. You worked on one of these domes until the money dried up. With nowhere else to turn, you headed towards Entropolis by railway. The train shuttle supplies... The train shuttle supplies and information from dome to dome, restocking the city's dwindling stores. These rails are the veins of this cracked old world. From one look at the city streets, Entropolis must be the thro throbbing viscera. As one of the last sustainable cities near the Western Sea, it supports and transports more than 50 million people across its urban landscape. Crowds hustle to put one more day behind them, hurrying to massive elevators that shoot to the tops of imposing skyscrapers. Bert, Bert. A flashing vending machine pulls you out of your daydream. Deal EO, huh? This vendor might come in handy if you need to pick me up. The Badlands never had conveniences like this. This is home now. At least until you find a new life. It's a new day. Yes, it is! You've been asked to do another favor for my. The bitter pills hijacked in the junk ticket office used by the Entropolis Cybernetics Museum. Miss Vermouth was wants her property back. The building is obviously being used as more than the ticket office, but why would a petty gang want control of it? I like the story, it's got a very, very in-depth story actually. It's surprising. It's very similar to Hotline Miami, isn't it? I can loot these. Holy shit! Okay. Hey bitch! <laughs> no hey bitch there. So there was like a grenade or something? Oh! Holy shit. Yeah, this is definitely like Hotline Miami now. We're done the tutorial. We're into the thick of it. Oh god! Oh why? Fuck. <laughs> it's very hard. Get in there, grenade. Ooh. Level up. Do I have to like level up myself? Oh, two talent points available. What do I do with talent points? Uh, I don't know. There's probably a control for it. Controls. Talents? Oh. Okay, so I can get Circuit Breaker. I've got two, right? So yeah, I can get uh, Circuit Breaker. Oh, that's what I am. I can get Recycle or Power Flow. Let's go for critical critical damage. There we go. God, there's probably no checkpoints, are there? Just take everything. So I'm using, I've got 7.2 DPS. And these are all crap, so... Well, I'll keep all of them. I might be able to sell them at some point, I suppose. Fuck! Whew! God, that was close. Oh, that's level down, oh, thank god. <laughs> Total deaths, three. Not very good, was it? So I got a rank of A. Okay, that's not bad. Level complete, proceed to exit. Very hotline Miami. Seem this is the- oh, get the ammo. I think I've probably got it all. Done. Sweet. Let's back into the story again. You've been settling in, day by day. Mai wasn't kidding about you needing a tour guide. She's your one constant amidst the dizzying chaos of this place. I'll be up in a minute. Make yourself comfortable in my office. Mai even gave you a personal data assistant, your window into the inner workings of the city. It's standard equipment for everyone under the museum curator's care. As you look around her command center, you think back upon that first fateful meeting. Out of all the people to run into, why her? And why are you still here? You're not being treated like a hired gun, but taking down those in the way of Via Asensio requires a lot of violence. Via Asensio is a rebel faction in the city of Entropolis, headed by Mai Vermouth and staffed by employees of the Entropolis Cybernetics Museum. 
Their mission is to spread the belief that cybernetics will bring about the next era of human evolution. Seems like the bitter pills don't have many ideals guiding them. They're just thugs with a lot of guns and money. So why are they targeting Via Asensio? Maya enters the room in a hurry, smoothing down her ruffled hair. Sorry I'm late. I was just straightening out some issues in the East Wing. One of the reconstructed cyborgs started raving about revolution. Typical curator problems. One day you're a diplomat, and next you're leading a secret war against tyranny. Are you enjoying your time in the mysterious offices of the Via Asensio? She cracks a slight smile. We may not be the most popular activists in Entropolis, but we certainly have the most class. Now that we've reclaimed that extra ticket office, we'll be able to launch operations throughout the entire east side. My agents have seen ECC ground troops heading into the nearby sewers. Turns out the Entropolis City Council has been working on something down there. I'd like you to gather intel. There should be a computer system you can access. Find out what you can and report back. Sounds good. Okay, use 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6 to swap weapons, abilities, the bar at the bottom screen, the bottom center of the screen will reflect active abilities. Use F to use your current active ability. I don't know what my ability is. Oops. Use O to open the talent menu. Okay. There's a guy over there. Fuck! Fuck! Oof! Well, oh, there goes my loot. Okay, so what was my talents? Oh no, I've already done talents. There we go. Okay, so... What was my... What the hell is my ability again? That's F. Okay. <laughs> well, I don't know what F did. Is it like a shield or something? That was way easier that time. Oh my god! Fucking nerves of steel, that one. Oh, I leveled up. Sweet. Oh. What was this again? Plus one second of duration on energy stacks. Fuck it, just give me this. even need whatever I put down. Now we gotta do both these terminals. Is that this open? I assume so. I cannot leave yet! What? So I haven't unlocked this one I guess? There we go. Can I leave now? <laughs> What have I not done? Oh, I see, you still have to go these ways, holy shit. Okay, I should turn it to here now. There's no, no one in here. Ooh, that was a legendary, wasn't it? 18.7 DPS, holy shit. Uh, which way was I going? It's this way. This is the way I haven't been yet. Okay, fine. Whoa. Double check your intel to view missing objectives, okay. Oh, it's got the music and stuff. Access the main computer terminal to discover critical intels on the ECC. Ah, here it is. I guess that's it. Yeah, mission complete. I don't even have to go to the exit. Or do I? Yeah, I do. <laughs> it should be over here. Fantastic. Alright, well, I'm going to leave my first video there for now. It is a very cool game. Really good gameplay, very similar to Hotline Miami, of course. It's got a very cool looking story. 
So there you go, that was a first look at Defragmented. Thank you guys very much for watching, and I'll see you guys later. Bye. As Canadians, we're, uh, we're pretty into this, this new update. Oh, look at oh, that! Oh, get wrecked, you scrubs! Eat it! <laughs>